Now you're inferring, right? You're inferring that there's also a downward vector to this gas. No, no, no. Explain to me, given that it's going in all directions equally, all vectors, where'd you get the extra down bit? Where's that coming from? It's the weight. What it's weight? The weight. weight? Of the gas. Wait, yes. that's that's invoking gravity. No, uh, yeah. the explanation. Yeah, weight yeah, be... weight's invoking gravity. gravity but you... sorry, no, no, no. I never said. Sorry, sorry which vectors? Which which, which vector is weight measured in? Which vector? What do you mean? That's the vector. It's called Stay weight. On. That what that is is that towards the bottom of the tank, what it is is there there is a, a more likely a phase change happening. So it's becoming more liquidy towards the bottom of the tank. So that's so that that means that there is a greater amount of density at the bottom of the tank. So and it, and because if it's becoming more liquidy, it's gaining inertia. Right? What it what liquidy? It have. Why would well, right. Hang on. What do you mean liquidy? Is well, there a half state between liquid, I guess? By that, it means the intermolecular spaces are becoming so small that no longer would they be defined as gaseous behavior. They're starting to impede each other too much, and they take on almost semi-fluid-like behavior. So it's kind of this interstitial. Semi-fluid? Is, is that's what I'm asking. Is there, is there a, a state that is between gas and liquid, a halfway state? Well, Does that exist? Not a state. No, no, there's not a state. Never heard about no. that. It's either no, gas not or liquid, state. as far as I know. It doesn't get yeah, in between. Properties. Yeah, well, I mean, gas. When, when gas starts to become, uh, starts to phase change into a liquid, the gas itself will start to become more dense. Because it has to. How could it? Yeah, but it's still gas. Straight to liquid. Right? I just still concede his point, density. Brian. Hold on. So, so he doesn't interrupt yeah. constantly. He's saying there's no okay. in-between stage. You, you can describe the no, process. I'm saying I never heard of this. No, there isn't. You're right. You can describe the process, that's a phase change. But liquidy, if you want to nitpick and say, look, what do you mean, liquidy state? It's either liquid or gas. Well, he's just he's just saying phase change. That's all Brian meant. But hopefully Brian will just... Yeah, he's, 100 correct. he's not 100% correct, though, Nathan, because if we take water vapour and then condense water vapour, condense water vapour or clouds, yeah. so that's in between water vapour and rain. No, that's, no, 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 that's not correct either. You can take a gas. It is. You can, it that's is. not true. Uh, you can squash a gas down is. to the point artificially where there's no gaps between it and it still be gas. Yeah, but no, it is, Nathan. Clouds are condensed water vapor. They are not the same as normal water vapor. What? Oh, you're wrong there. That can't what be. is condensed water vapor? That, that's impossible. You can see it, so it can't be in gaseous state. It might be very well on the edge of being liquid and can easily turn back into gas, but it is not gas because otherwise we couldn't see it. That's what he's saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to ignore yeah. water as an All example, right. yeah. especially at standard temperature and pressure. It's it's the most unique thing. It's never a good example for it either. Stick with just the gases. And the gases are behaving like gases, but because the pressure is so high, I, there's so many of them in such a small space, yeah, that they actually the the intermolecular spaces between each molecule is reduced to the level that they would be as if they were a liquid. So that's why you've got this sloshing in the bottom of the tank. It's because the pressure in that, uh, that is so much that it's forcing them into that phase change. But no, there isn't yeah, but... a, another phase in between those two. It's just you've got to imagine that passage that as that compression gets more and more eventually. They're not able to act like gases anymore. They act like liquids. They're still able to flow over each other, not acting like a solid, but there isn't enough space for them to bounce around freely because there's another one next to them. So they're flowing over each other. Yeah, can, can I finish what I was well, saying? The, the, the point was... Yeah, but just let this guy oh, make sorry, his objection the, again. Okay. Go ahead, Bacon. Yeah, the point was it, they don't have to be near the density of liquid to for you to have higher pressure below the tank that's supposed to happen with any fluid 
And the denser it is the fluid, you, you, the more... That, you can create a higher the, pressure. Hold on, Brian. Just let him get to the end. Stop. Hold on. Get, mate. Yeah, but the denser is the fluid statement. that you put on any container, uh, the, the greater will be that difference. It's okay. not about them the getting close to liquid. They don't have to get close to liquid. They could be far yeah. from becoming liquid, and you're still going to have that difference of uh, pressure. Okay, I, I'm going to I'm going to speak now because you keep on. You came in the middle of what I was saying, and you attacked what I was saying. And now, uh, every time you're speaking, you're stopping, giving the impression you're stopped, and then you start talking again. So I'm going to speak now. So for a gas to become a liquid, it has to become more dense. That means the gas has to become the gas uh, particles have to uh, concentrate together. That's how it becomes a liquid, right? So the gas is still a gas, but it has to become more dense. Right. Pressure is due to temperature. Temperature controls pressure in that situation. As long as the volume and the amount, uh, the volume of gas and the container and everything stays equal, temperature will control the pressure. So you're mixing up temperature with density. You're making up pressure with density. That's what's going on there. Right. Because for that gas to become a liquid, it can't just go from being a gas straight to being a liquid. It has to start to condense. And then it becomes a liquid. That's how it happens. But it's still in a gaseous form. But when it's but when it's becoming a liquid, it condenses. I'm not sure if that's related to the point I was trying to bring. Well, I don't know uh, what point you were uh, bringing. Well, let's let me make it the point. Okay, 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 okay. Do you want to go ahead then? Make your point again. Yeah. Right. Uh, as I understood, uh, the explanation seemed to be that below the tank. The pressure is higher because the thing is getting closer to a how a liquid is, right? Because uh, there is less space in between the molecules. Yes, there is space between the molecules because uh, the the closer you get to the bottom of the tank, the more things are above that level. So there is more pressure. But that's all. That's all you need to have this change of uh, pressure. And right. you don't have to change the temperature. So you're under the impression they could be all on, at the on. same temperature. Hold on, you're under the impression that because gas, there's if you've got gas in a tank, you're saying that there's more gas above, therefore it's pressing down on the stuff below more. That's what he's yes, saying. Yes, there is. Uh, I, I, it doesn't have to be gas. Brian, I'm Any asking him. Fluid. But he came in attacking me, Nathan. Yeah, sure, but I'm asking him. And he's after just stating something that's completely incorrect. Uh, yeah. He said I know. temperature it's Brian, and they were Brian, That's basically Brian, what he just said. Brian, yeah, I know. I'm way ahead of you. Thanks. I still want to hear him say it. Yeah, there is no distinction between fluid and liquid in this scenario. It worked with both. Uh, both have weight. And they both press on what's below them. And it's pressed by what's above them. Okay. So the closer you get to the bottom of the tank, the more... Fluid is pressing that at the level. But, so yeah, so, so it happens, reaffirmed what yeah. I've asked you to confirm. You're, you're under the impression that the gas above presses down on the gas below. So gas yeah has weight. So that means that yes. gas is going down then. Yes. So you think gas goes down? If if that's the only thing you have there, yes. Gas expands in all directions. It doesn't go down. Yeah, but they at nine point yeah, eight meters per second weight. per second. Yeah, it doesn't do. If they hello, were weightless. hello, hello, I cleared the airwaves for you. Now shut up. What? Subtlety is not your strong point. Yeah, when I'm in the middle of talking, that would be to refute what you've just claimed, which is gas go down, go boom, boom, like bouncy balls, a solid. Gas doesn't do that. I'll try to explain that gas expands in all directions, all vectors, not down 9.8 meters per second per second to press on the gas below it. It expands in all directions, all vectors. So no, there isn't a downward extra vector applied to gas. That's not how gas behaves. What on earth are you babbling about? The gas below isn't pushed on by the gas above. Can I answer it's a statement right. of fact. So, That's not how gas behaves. Yeah, naturally, hmm. gas is expanding in all directions. Yes. That's true. But that doesn't mean they can't be subject to forces. Sorry. So it's, one it's doesn't stop. invalidate stop. the other. Stop. 
So, let's just summarise. As you now concede, gas expands in all directions. So not down 9.8 metres per second per second to press on the gas below then. All vectors, all directions, not just down to press on the gas below. Sure, never said only down. Uh, sorry, if you have sorry, sorry, sorry. You had it squashing the stuff below a minute ago. What do you mean you didn't say down? It was squashing the no, stuff no. below a minute. I didn't say Hello, that. subtlety, say not your strong point. Middle of me talking. Yes, yeah, shut up. That means shut up. Middle of my sentence that refutes what you says doesn't mean you need to interrupt it constantly. I realise it does. You're misquoting. I say must be very painful for you and therefore require continued interruption. Yeah. Sit your ass oh, down. Yes, yeah, sit your ass down. Yes, you did. You had it going down, pressing down on the stuff below. That's down, shithead. Yeah, you did. I know that's yeah. painful when you've already conceded yeah, you it doesn't do that and expands in all directions, right? And me pointing that out for the second time is definitely going to require lots of interruption. You've conceded it doesn't go down. So it's not pressing down on the gas below then. Right, so those... Right then, fuck wit. So right. So not down, go boom, boom then, stupid idiot. What? Not down, go boom, boom to press on the stuff below then, all directions, all vectors. Not down, 9.8 metres per second squared. Not just down to press on the stuff below as... You claim. Are you slow? I'll repeat again. I never said just down. I agree I said down, but I never said... So you never said just down. So how is it pressing down on the stuff below? If it's not down, it's actually all directions. Explain that to me, because it's a contradiction. It's very simple to understand. It's both. They they expand in all directions, and you can have force applied to them in a single direction. It doesn't invalidate the others. You can have the two at the same time. You can have forces to all directions and add a fo second force to a specific direction. It's that it's that simple. But gas isn't doing that. Are you slow? Gas isn't giving you an extra downward vector to measure. Are you slow? We've covered this three times. Now you're inferring, uh, you're inferring that there's also a downward vector to this gas. No, no, no. Explain to me, given that it's going in all directions equally, all vectors, where'd you get the extra down bit? Where's that coming from? It's the weight. What it's weight? 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 Yes. Wait, yes. that's that's invoking gravity. No. Uh, yeah. The explanation. Yeah. Weight yeah. yeah. Weight's invoking gravity. gravity. But you. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. The weight is yeah. just. Yeah. 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 Weight's invoking gravity. So you guys deny weight. You're invoking gravity. Even weight. Sorry. No. 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 I never said. Sorry. Gravity. So you which vectors? Which we, which weight. vector is weight measured in? Which vector? What do you mean? That's the vector. It's called. Stay weight. On. You need help? What's going on? Yeah, I hear the we question? believe that gravity Sorry, which is vector way, but you don't is have weight to, measured you in? Don't have to Hello, to are you dumb? Do you not hear the question? Is this hard? Question? Is this hard? Harder than you thought, right? Which vector is weight measured in? I don't understand this question. You don't weight understand is the this vector. question. It's fairly simplistic. Yeah, weight is a vector. So you've got a parcel yeah, you want to weigh the weight of. If you've got a parcel, Dumbo, and you want to weigh it, do you stick it on your wall? Can you stop the name calling, man? Relax. We're just dumb shit. Which vector is weight measured in? Dumbo, thicko, retard, you, shit for brains. That's you, dumb, dumb as fuck. If you don't know the answer to this, if you don't like me insulting you. Don't be stupid. If you don't know the answer, that makes you a retard. So it's a fact. Is it a fact or do you know the answer? Take your time, Dumbo. Or tell me that you don't like the insults for your stupidity that you're displaying. You are thick. Don't have to like it. But right, me the flat earth. I take great pleasure in giving examples of people's stupidity. 
Not just an insult. You are demonstrably stupid. Any of basic things. Sorry, do you want to chant through Have me? Telling you how stupid you are? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, you chant straight through me telling you you are stupid. Fact. Not just an insult. It's a fact. You've demonstrated that fact here. Gas expands in all directions. Not downward vector. You've said it's got weight. I say, well, what vector's weight? I don't understand the question. Suddenly you're thick. Or maybe you're attempting to obfuscate your own stupid contradictory point that tries to insert gravity. That would be a downward vector. I'm asking which vector weight is measured in. You don't seem to understand the question.